welcome to a special session today uh we have been hearing uh, so many inspirational motivating stories in and around us uh many achievements by uh, students our friends uh, and and so on okay but here with us we have one special guest okay uh, who has shown that nothing is impossible and uh, especially this uh, the season of examination i just wanted to uh, share his experience uh, among uh, all the students so that we get more motivated and get boosted uh, to do better in our examinations as well as in your life yes uh, we have our young friend uh, mr nitin krishnan who is uh, currently doing his fourth year mbbs in uh, a very prestigious tirunelveli medical college uh, welcome to you mr nitin i am really happy and uh, uh, feel it a privilege uh, to interview you thank you sir thank you so much for giving me this opportunity yeah uh, uh, first of all uh, i would like to know some background so please nitin uh, can you please tell us about your uh, childhood days and uh, uh, your school days how was yes. it <laughs> Thanks, sir. Like I have done my schooling uh, from a village school, uh, which is very uh, near my home, just at ten minutes away from my home. So till tenth standard, I have done my schooling from that school only. And after that, uh, to do my higher secondary studies, like eleventh and twelfth, I have moved uh, to a bit city side, uh, like some thirty to forty kilometer from my home. And eleventh and twelfth, uh, I used to study there only. So daily, I used to travel in uh, bus, and that's how I finished my higher secondary schooling. And uh, of course there is nothing like uh, like everyone how this uh, their childhood would be mine was also the same it was interesting only no you are active you are participating in all the uh, things uh, co curricular activities study activities you are a uh, uh, intelligent brilliant student uh, average student or uh, how how was your study pattern and all like i know i used to uh, i got uh, like uh, very good scores in both 10th and 12th uh, 12th i got 94% and in 10th i got uh, <laughs> uh a one in all subjects and i used to participate in all co-curricular activities uh, like uh, painting craft making everything like i used to engage in not uh, not only just studies everything i used to engage in all sort of activities excellent uh, yes and i used to like gardening uh, so that was my hobby and uh, so i used to spend time equally for everything good so uh, then what motivated you uh, you to take up this medical field you are good in uh, everything okay you are a good uh, all rounder so finally what made you in 12th to uh, decide to take up this medical field as your career field uh, to be very frank first of all i have i have no idea of joining mbbs like i was interested in uh, doing something related to physics like i was interested in doing something in uh, astrophysics but like my parents were the ones who actually uh, gave me an idea like of course there is a course like mbbs doctors uh, their life everything so that only made me to th- even uh, start thinking about okay why i should not uh, prepare for this exam so that was the reason i personally i don't have any idea about uh, this profession so it was my parents who motivated me to uh, go in uh, get into this first but uh, you have done well okay you have got into a very prestigious government medical college and uh, now you are in fourth year so yes, how sir. are you finding it now medical field you are loving it or uh, you feel, uh, you are repenting for taking it never sir never i like i want to i used to thank each moment to the god for giving me because not everyone will get, uh, get this chance yes. to become a be a part of noble profession sir and i really always feel blessed to be whether i am like performing well or not that secondary but for giving me this chance for this opportunity uh, to be, uh, serve the mankind uh, like i feel really blessed sir that's a great thought actually but now coming to the matter uh, nitin uh, can you tell us about this uh, the particularly about writers cramp uh, what you are undergoing okay uh, i have heard about it uh, but i have not particularly seen but i also also read about it and uh, I, i what i understand is it's very problematic okay especially for a student uh, that to a medical student who needs to be uh, writing very frequently uh, i think it's a very big obstacle okay a writer's cramp okay uh, so can you from you only i just wanted to know it from one one's own experience can you tell us uh, in a layman's language or for a medical student 
what is writer's cramp or cramp all about and how it feels like to have it so actually uh, to be uh, simple uh, it's like a spasm of the muscles of our hand which will interfere with our writing so uh, in simple terms uh, it's like uh, or like i can say in medical terms like it's a dystonia it's a task specific dystonia like exactly. it only interferes with uh, writing so i can do everything but when it comes to writing it will create some problem so that is actually what is writer's cramp and when i started i too don't have any idea about this but now i am when 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 you started developing it so actually like uh, first year was going smooth uh, on my final day of my first year prof exam the last paper i was attempting i feel like the problem i have some difficulty in completing the paper so i ignored that because of course it was an exam day so i thought it was like an anxious uh, i mean yeah anxious. exactly so i completely ignored that day it was perfectly normal after one month again when i start appearing for an another exam in the department like i was uh, to be very frank like i was not even suddenly able to hold the pen so that mm-hmm. was the day uh, that made me to think okay of course it's not just an anxiety component of course there is some problem that is making me to uh, yeah, write yeah. so uh, and at that day like after i start writing for some 5 to 10 minutes itself uh, my hands start uh, like sweating then i got severe pain that i was to keep away the pen and uh, i just i gave the paper to the uh, examiner and just i go out of the exam because i was like uh, i can't express the pain i have felt that that day uh, it was like shooting straight towards my neck and of course i have no other option like i have to keep the pen down i have to go away so that was the first day i came to know that of course there is some problem which is making me interfering with my writing and then only i go for further evaluation sir so what will happen otherwise you'll be normal your hands or movement everything will be all right yes, when you sir, start when you will... hold a pen and uh, start writing it happens all the time or only during examinations or when you so that was uh, that was my thought first like only during exams because of anxiety i may be experiencing mm-hmm. same that. same yeah but anxiety later, component only... added to it which exaggerates yes. yeah may... of course anxiety will exaggerate that but then only i came to know that no of course whenever like uh initial five minutes will be perfectly all right i will be writing normal but when it comes when i try to increase the speed once after 10 to 15 minutes passed so the problems will start coming that uh, firstly uh, the index finger come in the muscles will be start contracting then my wrist uh, will undergo flexion uh, then the pain will uh, start going to the elbow to the neck then i have to keep the pen down i have to relax for minimum 30 minutes to come out of that then early again i can start right is it like any muscle fatigue your uh, after writing some time your muscles get fatigued and uh, then you have to take a rest is that right yes sir that is that's actually what is happening like uh, because my muscle is contracting more than what is necessary for that action so that is actually the problem sir that uh, for a normal action okay our muscles will contract with a in a particular uh, rate but my muscles are contracting more than what is needed so that my wrist will undergo flexion then what uh, the whole hand uh, will but, uh, go for fatigue and i have i have to keep the pen down then i have to relax what about uh, during uh, routine writing and all when you are in reading and all you will be simultaneously writing yes sir i was not even also... even able to draw a line with by, uh, like i used to hold my pen with my index and sometimes like everyone used to hold the pen so i was not even able to uh, draw or like highlight in a point or to draw to scribble like to be very frank uh, i was not even able to put my signature properly like many at one of my uh, what college verification they even told that my signature is not matching with my original signature so that such an incident to happen so i was not even able to uh, put my signature so i hope you will understand that and uh, then uh, definitely uh, you would have undergone some evaluation and uh, so so what do you think uh, what they suggested is the particular etiology for the same so actually uh, so it's our like you know brain we have basal ganglia so that is responsible for the initiation of all movements like whenever i start thinking yes i have to hold the pen i have to uh, write so at that time itself the problem is coming so my muscle mm-hmm. so i have done uh, i have uh, done nerve conduction studies to see whether any problem is in there no but it was it's that it was perfectly normal then only uh, like uh, we went to uh, further evaluation like i have done all my evaluation in sri chitra and chavantram 
uh, they are only uh, like i found like uh, what to say an excellent group of doctors who only uh, who completely take care of me uh, all of evaluation and finally uh, the senior neurologist there he confirmed that of course it's writer's cramp it will interfere only with my writing i can do all activities normally mm-hmm. and they advised me to take a botox injection um, mm-hmm. in the particular muscles which acts at my thumb and index finger i tried okay. two doses but i don't feel any improvement at that time mm-hmm. so later on how did you now what is the condition right now you are better or still continue to have the same problem no sir now i have uh, adapted to it i have found my own ways of uh, writing uh, so everything is like i am itself doing uh, an individual research on my problem and uh, i am I, of course i am very extremely satisfied i am able to write well i am completely uh, happy can you do it with the same left hand so that was the first thing i actually uh, practiced sir. that was the first thing even the doctors told me you start writing in the left hand but i that was during the time of covid 19 i used yeah. to buy four line books like mm-hmm. what an lkg ukg student will do i used to write letter a b c because my hand writing were completely gone so i used to uh, practice with my left hand around 6 months i have tried but i couldn't so at that time only uh, the doctor they told that of course that age would have passed but uh, it was in some about 19 or 20 years when i have this uh, problem so maybe my brain may not be able to uh, yeah. take it correctly and another one uh, uh, neurologist there he asked me to uh, go for an alternate like digital writing so at that oh. time i uh, bought ipad because in ipad there is no need for me to put any stress yeah. i can just scribble down so that was actually what i have been practicing for around 9 months so it is like a combination of typing many typing is fine for you typing is yes, the typing is fine, perfectly fine for me mm-hmm. so what is the final solution for that is it a curable one or just can be controlled with some medications or how so is as it as far as medications are concerned like i can take only the current only suppose if i uh, get any pain i was advised to take one hour before my writing task i was advised to take dolo sir 650 mg paracetamol so actually i don't know whether it is effective or not but for uh, my third year prof exam, effect, yeah. <laughs> uh, third year prof exam i take it regularly before my exam because it was a three hour exam so i can't go for a risk so i take it uh, in advance but now i am without taking any tablets only i am writing because i changed my mindset because earlier yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, earlier that's most important to yeah. uh, hold the pen the first thought which comes to my mind is that i can't write i can't yeah i can't write so then only then i slowly changed my thought everything and now when if i get pain also i will continue writing i won't bother great 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 so what's your plan for future uh, you what you want to become after mbbs and uh, how do you are planning to continue with it uh, i want to take neurology only <laughs> yeah uh, nice, because nice. Uh, i That's know because, uh, uh, i know many students are suffering from this problem yeah exactly yeah, exactly the very students, purpose of uh, doing this session is also same okay uh, many students will be suffering from this but they just think that they or their parents or even the doctors they think that it's just because anxiety he is nervous that's why he's, it's happening they no. don't find a, a real pathology uh, underneath okay so just put everything into students uh, Uh, what to say uh, no i have heard about many stories of many like even civil mm-hmm. servants and ias officers mm-hmm. who can who uh, gave away their dream it's just because they can't write okay so uh, like but if we uh, decide to come out of this of course definitely we can so now okay. actually i'm writing by keeping the pen between my index finger and middle finger okay but i can't get that proper speed as no you can you show me once can you is it possible to show us how to write how you uh, cha- change your uh, writing style so this is how i used to hold pen uh huh like between my index finger and my middle finger okay this is how because when i hold like this uh-huh. of course now okay. itself my mm. uh, yeah my is uh-huh. contracting so now i used to hold like this so that because uh, this middle phalanx will give a support okay to my pen so there is no need for me to stress so this has been so you can write now but that speed may be compromised and uh, that uh, need is not but i am able to manage uh, all exams know. everything i am able to complete yeah I heard, i heard that uh, you have done really well in your third uh, year finals and your secured even distinction uh, yes sir that's really great that's great and okay. the other way is that i used to tie cloth around the pen sir 
so that the thickness of the pen will increase but so agree. that uh, i can hold without flexing my uh, phalanx i can hold it normally like this Mm-hmm. So if the thickness of the pen increases less. Uh, I have to put less strain, so I can write it but um, comfortably. And I used to write with gel pen because the rest of the right uh, refill pens, no, we have to put some uh, strain. So the gel pen, uh, it, uh, it will be like uh, smooth. Then if you have a proper grip, so I used to write only with this pen. I can't write with any other pen. Uh, so uh, so this is the pen, so that uh, I will get a proper grip, so I can write normally. Then I used to do finger exercises. But uh, whatever I understand now, everyone understand. Whoever is listening to you understand that sheer willpower has brought yes, you to this stage. Not the our medical treatment or anything. Uh, just your uh, treatment. Uh, what is that? Uh, your sheer willpower has brought you, uh, you. That made you overcome this problem. Okay, that yes, is what sir. we understand by the uh, the experience you shared. But uh, uh, in the future. Uh, yeah we also wish that you become a good neurologist and find a permanent cure for the same yes sir that's and what i am uh, that's what that's my one of my aim i yeah. should find a no, that should be that's how cause. it should be that's how whatever we have suffered uh, no one else should suffer that should be the yes, that will keep you going and some that kind of commitment no in the life that will keep you going and uh, that will make you definitely achieve the same my you, sir, my principle so i always say you conceive an idea okay And firmly believe in it, and you will definitely do it. That is the ABC of life. Okay. Yes, sir. So you have already conceived an idea that you should want to become a, a, a neurologist and help those who are suffering from writer's cramp, and definitely you believe in it. Yes, you are going to find out some some new solution for that, and no yes, doubt, sir. Nitin, in a matter of a few years, maybe another five six years, uh, you will be the uh, neurologist, and you will find some solution, good solution for the same. Okay. and yes, so sir. the next generation may not be uh, able to see what is writer's cramp okay and uh, so uh, that's your future plan uh, nice to know uh, that again in your see that's called uh, uh, suffering in uh, what is a blessing in disguise okay yes, so suffering from some, something but uh, <laughs> that may help others uh, not to suffer from the same definitely so, sir uh, mr nitin uh, so finally to conclude uh, uh, what's your message uh, to the medicos what do you want to tell the because see what we see is uh, they give some lame excuses uh, uh, i have some uh, that that's problem that problem so some okay which are not at all uh, very serious or uh, okay uh, which are significant okay. but you have such serious uh, uh, some drawback uh, obstacle even with uh, which you could able to achieve uh, whatever you wanted to and uh, now you are doing really well yes, along sir. with the, the problem so what do you want to tell those who are just cribbing out there this i am not able to do anything i am not able to achieve whatever i wanted to so i want a strong uh, uh, message from you so of course uh, of course this god everyone have a familiar wish that where there is a will there is a way of course yeah. i had decided that i will come out of this i have to thank my teachers my friends my parents of course yeah, god yeah. almighty because that is the environment because there were a lot of people who had told negative about this so mm-hmm. i want uh, those who are uh, having any problems of course we all will face lot of issues in our life whatever mm-hmm. of course uh, of course we have to go through that a particular period but mm-hmm. if we believe in ourselves and if you talk mm-hmm. with people who encourage us to come out of that so that is the major component that i have to highlight as far as from my experience my teachers my parents they have supported in many ways and that's the only reason uh, of course if i have put this much efforts also i don't know whether i would have succeeded the people around us around me had encouraged me a lot and that's the only reason now i am writing like how i was earlier used to write so yeah. please don't say any excuses to uh, any small small things just uh of course at that point you may be sad of course there are many days i run out of the exam hall by giving blank answer sheets even after studying well so uh, so uh, please I, i don't know what to say more please don't say like uh, you can't everything everything is possible if we have a strong mindset that's sir the profound statement or the take home message uh, by nitin is we become what we believe okay that yes, belief sir. should be there the belief should be there so if you believe in ourselves yes 
we can do it uh, if such belief is there then definitely we are going to become that yes, okay sir. so first and foremost thing what we need to have is a belief okay in ourselves yes, that's again a very profound statement uh, which we all should as a medical students for a long journey to become the best doctor very very essential at a, to realize at a very younger age like this uh, excellent uh, nitin uh, thank you sir so energetic and your smile <laughs> itself so uh, infectious okay uh, okay hope you spread uh, smiles everywhere and become yes, the best possible doctor neurologist and help as many um, uh, patients as possible and uh, keep everyone around you happy make That's your really parents uh, friends everyone proud we wish you all the success in your life and uh, uh, hope don't you don't forget us okay <laughs> then no so definitely the you know sir on second thank you for thank you so much for giving me this opportunity of course many would be watching this sir i hope that at least even one who is watching this video would have also experienced my problems and definitely he or she may uh, come out of this uh, definitely